This is a Gravenstein tree and what we're going to look at, at here is blossom thinning for varieties like uh, Gravenstein L-Star, um, Honeycrisp. You'll have better results if you come in and just blossom thin. You can see the shoot pushing out of the side here. You want to make sure you don't prune that off. You really only need to cut through the blossoms. You don't have to take everything off and that ensures that shoot to, uh, to reset next year. Uh, on these varieties, Gravenstein's a large variety, but you're going to, the others, the fruits aren't so large, and so you're going to thin them down to one, one apple and Gravenstein as well. But uh, if you go through and thin early like this, you have a higher chance that you will get a return bloom next year on these varieties that are hard to crop every year. This is a Jonagold tree. We're going to look at thinning uh, clusters to uh, even more evenly distribute the fruit and produce better quality fruit. What you do, there's over 24 clusters in this, about 14 inches by 12 inches wide. That's way too many. We're going to cut off everything that hangs down. And you can see we've already taken off everything that comes up. But then here you have one, two, three, four, five clusters. Again, blossom thinning on these. We only want maybe uh, two apples there. We're going to thin, cut a lot of these blossoms off here and, and then next year these spurs will come back for us and produce blossoms again. So coming in and thinning those down, maybe not doing them totally uh, to that four to six inches apart, but to thin them out so you know that some of these are definitely not going to fruit this year. And that will make a big, a big difference in your return bloom much quicker, much easier to thin them at blossom time to do a rough thin. This is a Honeycrisp tree. There's over 25 blossoms between my pruner and the tip here in about 15 inches. That's way too many. Honeycrisp is very susceptible to overcropping one year and having no bloom the following year. So you can see I've gone through and just cut off, cut right through the apples themselves and the blossoms. And you can see in here these little uh, shoots pushing that will develop the spur for next year. I highly recommend you go through on Honeycrisp and blossom thin as well. Uh, you don't you just cut through the blossoms the stems are okay you want to make sure you keep that little shoot and uh, you know in a branch like that Honeycrisp tends to be big we'll leave two apples per cluster so we might have five to ten apples left in here. Don't thin it completely at blossom time. You want to make sure you get your, you know, a good fruit set. But if you take quite a few off, 40 50 percent of, of of the blossoms, you will have more than enough for pollination if you have if you have good pollination weather.